Welcome to the Den of Debauchery. to the den of debauchery everyone uh the podcast that was in high demand by two people it's the podcast that very few are listening to thank you for tuning in everybody's um, shit talking shit faced podcast speaking of shit faced Derek stock is not drinking it's like one of my first no this is my first sober what the fuck is the deal you make me feel like an alcoholic because i'm following the theme of the show and i'm drinking alone a little bit you are an alcoholic though what I don't bit. even drink other than this show. That's I have not. Slicer. This the the first episode that we recorded was my first taste of alcohol. I got Never hammered. Had a drop. I got okay. See, this is a Sunday, and I got hammered. Uh, the or no, this is a Monday. This is Monday, and I got hammered. So you're days such ago. an alcoholic that you forget what day of the week it is. Yeah, you worked it's like fucking <laughs> what eight hours today, and you're like, this is a Sunday. That's how little you do at work that you can confuse a Sunday and a Monday. <laughs> I know, I'm dressed up to watch television. All right, so go on. You uh, you went to your reunion. Yeah, 10-year class reunion. Ooh. And I got hammered. But what were you drinking? Tito's and Monster. My Tito's that I left here? Yeah, that's gone, man. Yeah, thanks Piece for that. Shit. Hey, Piece of it was shit. delicious. I bet it was. But yeah, I, I mean, there's nothing really to tell about that. My five-year reunion was a lot more embarrassing, but... Uh, you guys had a five-year? We did not have a five-year. Yeah, I think the way... We, the way she's going to do it, at least, is going to be like five year, ten year, and then I think it's like every ten after that. What did What did you guys do for yours? Did you just meet up at a place? Well, which one? Did you buy tickets? Let me ask you that. I paid ten dollars to help cover. So we had, I think it was. See, mine is next month. My ten year reunion mm-hmm. is next month, and we got sent a thing to. Uh, I think it's like twenty or twenty five dollars to buy tickets. Yeah. And all it covers is like dinner. Yeah, that's to help pay for food. And I'm guessing the hall if you wherever you guys are gonna be. Yeah. And I was just like, eh. and then I talked to like my two closest friends, um KK Caleb and a person whose name we don't mention on this podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll fucking crawl across this table if you fucking say this fucking name. Anyway, because he has like a responsible, upstanding government job. And I don't like him. Why don't that's, you like him? I have no idea. It's because we can't say his name. I think that's why I don't like him. Mm, yeah. Really no other criteria. Anywho, I did not buy one. I may send them, like, uh, send the person organizing it, like, a message to me, like, hey, is that still available? If I hear that the two people I care about are going. But if they're not going, then I still know where the event is, and I'll just stand outside of it wait for people to leave it and be like hey after party it's so and so for zero money and i'll just have to pay for my bar tab <laughs> well no tip, yeah typically it's go to the party and then you go out to the bar we didn't for this 10 year but we just stayed in a garage it was awesome nice <clears throat> so were, were people still like uh is there anybody that was there that hadn't seen you since your rapid weight loss well, yeah, there's people that have like n- haven't seen me, but they knew the it's, situation. Yeah, it's all it's all it was all over Facebook and everything. Okay. So it's not. Were like they still thing. like, whoa, man, it's still weird to see you like well, this? Yeah, they're still over here. Like, hey, you're still really attractive. It was really weird. I was like, guys, I'm I, I would uh, bet my entire bank account that nobody fucking said that. I guess we'll never know because I. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess we'll never fucking know. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Sure thing, buddy. You're you're the most handsome Holocaust survivor that I've ever seen. That's a good point. Everyone wants to see me. Okay, so do you ever get... Um, I get a notification every single day from Facebook saying whose birthday it is. Do you get that uh, shit too? Yeah. Like it's yeah, every yeah. single fucking yeah. day. I think it's like a certain time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have so many friends on Facebook. Uh, obviously, I don't... I talk to like 20 of them. But I have so many friends. It's... Every single day that I get that someone has a birthday. So what am I supposed to like? I'm, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go on there every fucking day and tell every single person, 
Happy birthday. Here's here's what I do. If I consider the person close, I I never wish anybody happy birthday on Facebook anymore ever. I know. If I consider the person close, I will text them. I directly. I do, I'd never yep. say sh- jack shit on Facebook. I, I do the same thing. I mean, I tell you to eat shit on your birthday, but yeah, that's our tradition. Yeah. Every year since mm, since sophomore year, I think yeah. we have you and I have always said eat shit, and that is the only acknowledgement. That, on each other's birthday, it was funny, eat shit. Thank you. What's eat funny shit, is your mom you. always uh, your mom always likes it <laughs> both ways. Both ways, your mom always likes it. It's pretty really weird. It's pretty dark. She she fully supports my dark and twisted sense of humor. So, but like, which okay. I appreciate. So now I've decided that if you want me to say happy birthday or acknowledge you in any way, now there's a there's an app called Cameo. If you've ever if you know if you're familiar if you know anything about it. Yeah, and celebrities get paid to, you know, Give you pay a certain or... amount to do a shout out or wish you a happy birthday or whatever. Right. So for me, I'm like, I'm not going to get on Cameo because I'm not a, uh, I'm not a celebrity. So I'm just going to put that out there that if anyone ever wants me to wish them happy birthday or give them a shout out, I'll do it. But for a fee, like, I'm, I mean, I'm not doing this shit for free anymore is what I'm saying. I don't even tell my mom. No really. people will give you money. To wish them happy birthday. There has to be someone that's a bad financial like person. That makes awful financial decisions. Yeah. I mean, KK Caleb makes some pretty bad financial decisions. I mean, I, I I'll make a vi- I'll make a video and I'll post it on our you know our Twitter feed of of me just shitting <laughs> Are you on trying someone. Trying to promote yourself. If you are willing to give yeah, Derek listen, Suck money listen, I, to send you a message. Yeah, exactly. A video <laughs> message, though. It's not just a te- oh, tweet or something. Oh, yep, you got it. Oh, my apologies. Yep. It's a video <laughs> message. Yep. So, realistically, how much money could I charge? I wouldn't pay you a fucking cent. We're not talking about you. We're if talking I, about if someone I else If I could buy you out of this me. fucking podcast to never speak on it again... I would do that. If you have how much money to pay you to no longer participate in this? That's a better question. You you hand Why me the a f- fuck. Would I give you money to speak to me? You hand me a thousand dollars. I want you to talk less. Hand you how much? A thousand bucks, and I'm I'm out. A thousand dollars. You can have the the den of debauchery. You can have the whole label, everything. You think it costs a thousand dollars to buy you out? All I'm I making, have I'm I have a little all bit of, of profit. What profit? I'm making a little bit of a profit because I bought a lot of this stuff. You bought some of the stuff. Well, I'm not saying that. I, my point is, is Le- I spent a definitely decent amount le- on this. Definitely less than $1,000. Yeah, also, you I keep need, in mind, I need to make everything for I have time. saved on my hard drive, all of the funny stuff has been said by me. You contribute nothing. I know, but I'm here. To do what? My time is valuable. And to who? To, to me. Now, back to the cameo. That's You're why. the only person I'm that cares take... about your time. I know. That's why I'm monopolizing my own time. <laughs> I'm taking my own time. It's not a monopoly because you don't own anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I own my own time, damn it. I'm just saying. I'm charging for it, and I will give you a video shout-out for for what? It can't be a lot. No one's going to pay even remotely uh, like five bucks. No. A lot of people have been saying that we should start our own Facebook page to promote this. I'll put it on there too. So yeah, we'll do that, and I'll I'll make shout. Have a Dana debauchery Facebook page. We can do that, and that's mm-hmm. where I could post the videos as well. Yeah, but here's the problem: like, uh, I feel like less people will see it because, like, we tag our friends in it, and how many of our friends are gonna want to follow the page? I don't know. If tell you what, if you guys think we should start our own Facebook page, again, comment on the video, send us a message. We prefer you to comment on the video or uh, follow us at Podcast N on Twitter and let us know that way so we can try and gain a little bit of a following. If you think that we should do that, then let us know. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't give a shit about this Facebook page thing. <laughs> so, guys, just ignore what he just said. <laughs> Tell me how much money you would pay for a cameo of Nobody me. Nobody wants to give me <laughs> fucking money. <laughs> no one will give you money. I... I'll tell That's you what. That's more important to me. I'll tell you what. Anybody that wants to pay Derek Stock to physically abuse himself or oh. to get physically abused, let us know. I who wants to pay him to get the shit slapped out of him instead of like a dunk tank, 
for a fundraiser a slap tank where you stand wow. there and get recorded and get the dog shit slapped out of you for a certain amount of money. That's the be- well, if it's like a chick, I might get turned on. You got to be careful with that. Ooh. Then that's sexual harassment, and it's a whole new no, no, no. thing. Okay, yeah. So choking or getting slapped that that is now on the table. You you think slapping gets me hard and choking doesn't, dude? Is that what uh, you're so to if if we get like an actual like legal agreement where you won't press assault charges on me, ooh man, I would. I would pay a significant amount of money to just fucking smack the ever living shit out of you. That would bring me so much joy. But you know, I would never sign those papers because there's nothing I would like better than to put you in jail. I know. I know. Yeah. To keep everyone else safe in the world. From what? I don't know. Your comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are you are you keeping people safe from your comedy? Is that why you haven't got on stage yet? That's exactly right. The, the world's not ready yet. The world's We're, not ready. It's a little. It's still a little too PC. For my shitty, unpolished, but still a little too PC. <laughs> You're saying that your comedy is too clean, and that's why you haven't got on stage yet. No, no, no. I'm saying that the, the world the is, world too is PC. a little too PC. Yeah. Right. I mean. We're talking about me missing out. I gotta hold your hand and walk you into the sentences you're trying to say. Nope, I said it correctly. You just misinterpreted it. No. Yeah. No. That's exactly what happened, and you know it. So back off, son. I'm gonna. I'm telling you right now. Can I call you son from now on? Like that. Like degradingly. He's son. You you can keep saying it, but at some point during this podcast, I'm going to push these microphones out of the way, and I'm going to slap the fucking bejesus out of you. No, because we don't have film, it, you would just be it would be wasted. Oh no, there will be audio of you crying and me laughing and the sounds of just flesh against flesh, not in a porn way, but in a hurtful way of just the <laughs> that shit. Oh man, imagine feel- that across your face. Oh god, that would feel so good. I know, I'm getting hard <sighs> thinking about it. You know, speaking of getting hard, um did you ever have a porn stash? Uh yeah, I had the I had like a shoebox full of like old Playboys because like I discovered porn right before the um the internet was already out and popular, but yeah, because but- I grew up in like a poor like country I wouldn't say poor, but like my dad still to this day does not have a cell phone and does not have internet because that's just how he fucking rolls. But I remember the first time as like a 12 13 year old maybe uh going over to a friend's house and they had like like a big ass cardboard box full of their dad's fucking old playboys Harry pussy oh Harry pussy for sure yeah, I this, a, shit, this shit has been sitting in there for decades yeah. I had a uh, I had a old hustler that I had old one of those hustler yeah hustler was like super aggressive yeah that they, one was like <laughs> yeah, I saw the P going in the V I mean they, yeah they, like fucking everything. like spreading shit out yeah. fucking like semen like all over like hustler was fucking bananas there right. were no fucking rules when it came to fucking hustler but it was also old and I was like mm, Harry so but mm, I also Harry I had like a, I, I don't know where I got them but I had a couple of videos as well like you, got, I, I, you had videos I had DVDs DVDs. Yes, because get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. As a when you're how old? How old were you when you had these DVDs? I had to have been in junior high. What? Yeah, dude i I had not seen video of porn. I don't. Oh yeah, I had like two DVDs, dude. Because i I don't think I saw porn videos until I had a fucking smartphone or internet. Well, Which was I mean, like college. I don't think I watched any porn until I got out of high school. Oh, yeah. I was early. And man. that's just because lack of resources. Trust me, if I had the resources, I'd be watching that shit regularly. Yeah. Which is why fucking the second I got a phone that could send and receive pictures, sexting was a, an immediate thing. That was glorious. Yeah. Everyone makes a big deal about sexting nowadays. Dude, it the first awesome. person I sexted was a uh, straight jacket. Oh, we're going to get to that. I want to tell you about my my porn stash. Okay, then we'll and finally the, go. We teased that last episode. We'll go ahead and get into it in this one. So, um, T- tell me tell me about your porn stash because I am super curious. Well, I was like, I was. <clears throat> it's not like I I I had a bottom drawer on my dresser, and I'm like, I never go into that drawer, and there's no reason for me to. It's like 
It was like my bathing suit and shit like that. Shit I never use. That's where I kept my stuff. And I'm pretty sure that one day my mom was like purposefully going through my dresser to like find shit. And she found them. Now, after she found them, she calls uh, my older brother, Kevin, who's been on here. She found what? Like you had DVDs or? She, she found the DVDs and the, the Hustler. Okay. Yeah, see, because when we, when we went over to his house, we were allowed to rip out individual pages. We could not take whole magazines, but we had to neatly rip out individual pages. So I had, like, loose pages in, like, a fucking shoebox under my futon mattress that I was sleeping yeah, on. It was, I don't even know where I got the, the magazine. Or I don't know where I got any of it, quite honestly, but, yeah. And she calls him, and she's like, well, I, you know, I was going through his stuff. He goes, first of all, why are you going through shit? She's like, well, I, I found, I found some porn, and he goes, okay. She's like, well, I don't know what to do about it. And he goes, okay. First of all, you do nothing, okay. You just leave it. He goes, for, well, is it gay porn? She goes, no. He goes, okay. Well, then just leave it and leave it the fuck alone. Quit going through his shit. He's not home. Stop going through his shit. He goes, it's perfectly normal. So I can't believe she called my older brother to talk to him about it. It's fucking That's weird. That's weird. Instead of talking to like your dad or your stepdad. I can't remember like, when she found it. Like maybe they were going through like their divorce or maybe I don't know when it was. Yeah, it's weird. I. <laughs> I, I mean, actually, I mean, if you think about it, that's probably the smartest because he's in that transition period between where you were and where she is. So actually, like, if you think about it, that makes sense. That's probably the best person to well, talk to. Well, he was to. also moved out by then and everything. Yeah, so. that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, her as a mother, like, the older brother is that perfect transition period between where you are as a boy that just started popping boners that he can finally milk into, right. you know, baby gravy, and where she is as an older mother. So, like, that's actually, that's pretty solid. I just, I mean, I had such a good hiding spot. I'm not, I'm, I have no idea how she found it. Bottom drawer of my dresser, just under clothes. Yeah, man. It's, for me, it's so weird that I can't remember exactly when I got, like, through puberty. Like, that it's vague. You would think that would be such an important moment that, like, I feel like I, it was... Yeah, I feel like girls, like, remember their like first the, period. It was, like, the the end of middle school. Yeah. But I don't know for sure if it was, like, 7th or 8th grade. Like, I, I can't remember exactly. I remember being uncomfortable in the locker room because some people had pubes, and I didn't. But I can't remember when that was. Well, here's the weird thing is that, like, you wanted pubes... You know, to like fit in. And then now we shave them Yeah, now you're just like, they're (laughs) such a nuisance. Yeah, that is kind of weird. That is weird. Let me ask you this. The first time you had sex, did you finish quickly? The first time I officially had sex, I didn't come at all. What about about the second time? Yeah. You did? Uh, Did you finish quickly or was it? I don't know what quickly. I mean, back then, I guess it was like seven minutes. Okay. I'm not, the I, first, the first two times I had sex, I didn't come. The first time I had sex for an hour, and the second time I had sex for about thirty minutes. And then my girlfriend at the time like had to leave, like she had like uh, like college prep like courses I got shit or something. To do. And she was like super insulted. Like the first time I had sex, I had to fake an orgasm, and I will never forget the song that I lost my virginity to. Take take a guess. It was Pitbull, wasn't it? It was not Pitbull. Oh. I will fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fucking mention that name around me ever. It was Lil Wayne. All right. Birdman. Mm, I know the fucking... Like, I can't... I don't know the name of it, but I'm singing in my mind. They're kind of... What is it? Go for straight shots and then Ch- pop bottles. bottles. All right. Flirt with the hood rats, then pop bottles. Yeah, that was the song that was fucking playing when I entered a vagina for the first time. I think I had sex to like Gwen Stefani before. I mean, it's just whatever is playing. And I'm not shitting. We were on a mattress that was on the floor. No box spring whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It was in a mattress that was on the floor in her mother's basement. I was 16. And that was the start of... (laughs) <laughs> the most toxic fucking relationship ever. Actually, like, I want to go back to, like, when you asked me about my first time. Yeah. I don't want anyone thinking that it was, like, 
like you where I'm like, oh, it took an hour and I didn't come. No, I just, it got broken up. Oh, what? Yeah. How did it get breaking up? So it was in my, like, we had like a, a game room when I was a kid and we just, we took the couch and put it in front of the door. So, you know, no one could get in. Like wedged it under the door. <laughs> not wedged it, but we just put it in front of the door. Like you're not opening the door. Like you're trying to prevent the fucking... <laughs> Right. The guy in the scream mask from breaking through. <laughs> right, but really who I was trying to prevent was my grandmother who eventually did try to open the door. Your grandmother? Yeah. Where the, she was you were in day. your house, like yeah. in your own basement, in your own bedroom? Where were you? Okay, so my old house, it was like Kevin was already moved out, so his room was now the game room. Okay. So we were in Kevin's old room. And why was your mother or grandmother in the middle of the night trying to break in there? Was she trying to be like, hey, you it, kids... The Shouldn't middle of the be day. playing tiddlywinks in the fucking... It was middle of the day. Middle of the day? Yeah, it was like she was hanging over... Who's losing their virginity in the middle of the day? Wow. Me. Like, it was, it was fucking planned. So then the... Okay. So that got interrupted, but the second time... It was... Yeah. It was you, not... You busted not. quick, which is like... Yeah. I feel like that's what mo- happens to most people. They bust quick, like, their first couple of times. Well, I mean, I, first couple of times, I mean, I'm still... I couldn't come. Yeah. I could not fucking come. And I feel like that's so weird that people have such vastly different experiences. I feel like I only hear those two. That either you busted immediately or you didn't come at all. That's so weird. Like, why is that? Like, what's the what's the psychology behind that? I are think, you, are I you think nervous? it's the sensitivity. Like, if you get heightened, like, if you get all worked up and shit like that, I think it's going to be more sensitive down there. I, I got to be honest. I would think it's more psychological. I because mean, it changes over time. Like, do you still bust quick now? Yeah, I mean, kind of, yeah. Like, now, like, I bust I bust quick and, you know, last a little while, depending on the situation. But from then, like, no way I could ever fucking come. Like, it's it's literally physically impossible so i feel like it's psychological but anyway fuck that back to straight jacket so um we worked at like i said um bad river mountain uh we both worked on the lifts and i talked to her and i was a virgin at the time so uh i didn't really have any confidence but all of the sudden this was like the first time that like somebody cute was like flirting with me and, you know, now I recognize that it is the fact that I hit a growth spurt and I wasn't a short, dumpy fucking sophomore anymore. I was a tall junior. But finally, I'm getting fucking flirted with. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So immediately, because I have such low self-esteem, I'm like head over heels for this fucking girl. She's the one. Oh, yeah. She's the fucking one. So she starts flirting with me. And uh, she's asking me, like, how many girls have you slept with? And I was like, (laughs) why don't you uh, take a guess? And she's like, six. And I'm like, oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) The answer is what you said, minus six. (laughs) And so, like, eventually I let her know that, like, while we're still flirting. And I was like, "Um, it's a little bit less than what she thinks. She goes, oh, so, like, four. And I'm like actually less and she goes wait really so like what did you have a girlfriend for a long time and i'm like mm, no not really no she's like uh, how many and i went i'm actually a virgin and she didn't believe me for the longest time so we keep uh talking and flirting and then she decides one day that she would like to yeah, she was like, hey, I think we, I want to be your girlfriend. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, be my girlfriend. And later that night is when I lose my virginity. Now that we have solidified it and said, yes, you're my girlfriend. Uh, now she's comfortable having sex with me. I do not come. I have sex for a fucking hour. listening to Lil Wayne and other fucking rap music. Do not get off. And, you know, thus starts the worst relationship of my entire life. A week? Mm, No, I'm sorry. Not even a week later, she breaks up with me. (laughs) Sex was whack, bro. Uh, I don't know, man. I fucked her for an hour the very first time I had sex. I feel like that's about as solid as you can start off. Even if it's bad, even if it's bad, it's at least one 
to 10 of those thrusts must have been not as bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, that's how we fucking start off. And, like, I would say four days. And she tells me that another guy that she was, that we were both working with is, uh, she has this crush on him. And, uh, you know, she liked him for the longest time. And she didn't think he liked her back. Now she knows that he likes her back. And she's just confused and she just needs a minute. And me, uh, being a 16 year old who has a conscience, is like, you know, you do what you need to do. And also simultaneously, the 16 year old lizard brain of being like, do whatever you do to keep a friendly relationship with the girl that let you have sex. Mm -hmm. So it's competing instincts of being like, hey, you know, true love can be found. If that's your person, then that's your person. You go be with him. And then also being like, don't do anything to piss her off. She'll stop letting you have sex with her. (laughs) So that's what I'm thinking. And within like, you know, another week, her and I are back together. And then we're back on, and then we're back off. And this goes on for like two to three months where we're just on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off. It is, it, it's really bad. And um, let's see. She is constantly accusing me of cheating on her for zero reason. There's zero evidence. I've never cheated on her. I've never talked to another girl. I never flirted with another girl. I never did jack shit with another girl. And she is, like, always suspicious, which I found out later is, like, the number one sign that they are cheating on Yeah, her. absolutely. Yeah, and she was. She, like, here's how oblivious I was as a fucking uh, high school junior. While we were in our broken up state, I remember her talking about a fellow co-worker of how hot he is and how much she wants to fuck him like trying to make me jealous like saying it out loud and then her going over to his house while we were together and i called her and she was out of breath and i heard him in the background out of breath and she was like what and i'm like hey what are you where are you at and she's like i'm at so-and-so's house and i'm like Oh, really? And she's like, don't, it's not like that. We were just having a pillow fight. And I was like, that sounds like really super flirty. Like, I feel like that's inappropriate. She's like, no, 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 you don't understand. It was like an aggressive pillow fight. Like, I actually got like a bloody nose from it. And like, that was her trying to cover up the fact that I called her in the middle of her getting fucked by this dude. An aggressive pillow fight. An aggressive pillow fight. Guys, Eric no one suck. can no one can see me, but I am smiling from ear to ear. <laughs> it's the, so the bad. fact that this happened to you just makes me so happy. So, like, yeah, that's just that right there lets you know how fucking bad and fucking toxic this fucking relationship was. So it comes to a head when I'm at a fucking track meet. So I'm at uh, I in high school, junior senior year, I threw shot and disc. And I'm throwing discs because that's like the first field event. And I'm popping zits on my arm like little whiteheads. She starts slapping my arm saying like, hey, knock that off. And I'm like, hey, I'm just popping a whitehead. Like, calm down. And I go to keep doing it. And she slaps my arm like fucking seven times and yells at me in the bleachers like, stop it. Stop it. Like freaking out. And I went, okay. Like, because she was beating the shit out of my fucking arm. And she goes, huh. And I went, what? And she goes, don't talk to me. And I went, you got it. And I didn't fucking talk to her. I didn't talk to her for the rest of that event. I didn't talk to her for the rest of the next event when we threw shot. I didn't fucking talk to her. At all. Wait, wait, wait. She threw shot with you? No. No. Okay. She was coming there to support me oh, because okay. she was my girlfriend. She sounds very supportive. She fucking walks away and comes back and I go, are you done being mad? And she goes, don't talk to me. Yeah, that's so a- I didn't. I didn't talk to her for the rest of the time we were throwing disc. I didn't talk to her for the entire time we were throwing shot put, which is like an entire track meet. Basically, that's, you know, two to three hours, sometimes longer. The entire time that I'm not talking to her, she's flirting with every fucking guy that will talk to her. Every fucking guy. She's, like, twirling her hair behind her fucking ear. She's, like, touching people's fucking biceps. She's flirting hardcore, trying to send a fucking message. So my friend comes up and is like, dude, you know, she's this, this, and this. This is what she says. Blah, 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 blah. Like, I think you should talk to her. And I was like, she told me not to fucking talk to her, so I'm giving her what she fucking wants. I go up to her... And go, hey, 
And she goes, I can't believe you didn't talk to me the entire track me when I'm here to support you. And I'm like, that's what you asked me to do. I gave you space for now until we could talk rationally. And she just fucking like pushes me away from her and then walks away. I leave that fucking track meet. I get back to my fucking truck. And this bitch is sitting in my fucking driver's seat staring at me. And I went, hey. And she goes, you know, you shouldn't leave your truck unlocked. I went, what? She goes, yeah, if I were crazy, I could have stolen your fucking truck. Okay, I could have wrecked this thing and then left it if I were fucking crazy. And I'm just thinking inside my head like, oh, if you were crazy? If you were crazy. Bitch, you are fucking crazy. And then, you know, we start arguing, you know, I can't believe you left me alone. You asked me to leave you alone. I can't believe you didn't talk to me. You asked me not to talk to you. And then she grabs my face and squeezes along my jaw where it fucking hurts. I didn't know this at the time. There's a fucking pressure point right along your fucking jaw. And she she just goes... she was an assassin. Yeah. Yeah, she was. And she just goes, happy two months, Yale. And then sprints away. And I'm like, happy two months? What the fuck does that mean? I'm like, is she keeping track of a two-month anniversary? Like we're in fucking elementary? Like, you don't keep track of two-month anniversaries. But the funniest part, as I'm thinking this, she is sprinting. Anybody who's a Benjamin Logan alum can know we were at the multi-purpose building, which is next to the football field. And she was running from the parking lot down there all the way to the other side of the fucking high school to where she was parked. It's about, bare minimum, the full length of a football field, about 100 yards Mm -hmm. uphill that she was sprinting in flip-flops. Never slowed down. Terrible running form. Just the worst, like, elbows out to the side, fucking kicking, and just sprinting her fucking ass off as she's throwing, like, the world's worst hissy fit. And I literally stood there and watched her run the whole fucking way before she disappeared around the high school to get to her fucking car. She never slowed down. Oh, good for her. Athletic. Yeah. And here's the... Here's... You want to know the worst part? I got in my car and I chased after her. I chased mm-hmm. her, I chased her down the fucking road. <laughs> oh I chased her down the fucking road Did and got her to pull her over? over and win her back. <laughs> yes. What did you do? Like make a citizen's arrest? Like woo, behind you. Dude. Was she and, like- I, and I was just like honking at her and she finally pulled over and both of us are like fucking like talking in her car while my, my truck's parked next to hers. We're talking in her fucking car and uh, at one point, I'm standing talking to her through her window. And she's like, you left me alone. And I screamed, because you fucking told me to! And then kicked my own truck in the fucking driver's side door. And I left a fucking permanent net. And she goes, you're crazy. And I'm just like, ah! <laughs> because it's driving me insane. But it was like, you told me to leave you alone. I left you alone. How are you angry? Apparently, you didn't realize that women were crazy at this point. Yeah, you know? I didn't fucking know. Yeah, and, what they uh, say. It, they again, don't mean... it's a. I am in the in between area where I'm still a good person and I don't want to hurt her feelings. And also, the hormones are raging and I want to continue the possibility of talking to the only person that's let me have sex with them so it's a weird fucking issue i i guarantee she could have done anything in that two month period that would have continued me to talk to her like it she had to get fucking real wild for me to eventually cut off talking to her so the what eventually led us to quit talking is her continuous accusations of me cheating on her when she had nothing for it she had absolutely nothing for it at one point, like, we're talking and we're arguing about something like that. And I'm like, you know what? I need a fucking break. Like, it's like, listen, I'm going to go for a run. I'll talk to you when I get back from my run. It'll be about 30 to 45 minutes. And she, and uh, I take off right then. I come back and the, to a text message that says, yeah, a run to your other girlfriend's house. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. You're always constantly accusing me of cheating. I've never cheated. I've never even came close. Like, I'm just done. 
And she goes, oh, you're done? And I'm like, yes, I'm done. She goes, you'll be back. And I was like, no, I'm done forever. Like, I'm sick of this bullshit. She, <laughs> she freaks out. She says, I want my stuff back. You know, we had had like a, you know, she had left a thing at my house. Were I you, had left a couple of things, you know, as you well, do in a fucking relationship. Were you wearing her sweatshirt? She wanted her sweatshirt back. No, I. she oh. had my sweatshirt oh, oh, oh. and my fucking thing. Like, she yeah. wanted to drop those off. The This is the funniest fucking thing. She comes sliding into my fucking trap. Like, literally, we're out in the middle of fucking like country. Tokyo drifting. She Tokyo drifted this bitch into my fucking driveway. Like, <laughs> This fucking nineties fucking Honda Acura fucking drifts this bitch into my driveway, hits me with rocks because I'm waiting in the front yard for her, hits me with rocks, and she comes out with a handful of my stuff and throws it at me. I had uh I had just borrowed her dad's dress shoes for a fucking dance because I'm poor white trash and I don't have dress shoes. Mm -hmm. So I had that and a belt that I needed to give back to her. So that's what I'm standing out there with. She pelts me with fucking rocks to which I'm like, oh, great. And then throws all my stuff at me and I gently set her stuff down and then start picking up my stuff. As I'm picking up my stuff, I realize that (laughs) there's a pair of shorts and a shirt that are not mine. Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> there's a pair of gym shorts that I'm like these aren't mine <laughs> there's a shirt that I'm like this is also not mine <laughs> so she it's one thing to cheat on somebody it's another thing to be cheating on somebody so much and so consistently that you fuck up whose clothes are whose <laughs> She peels into my dress. I don't even address it. I'm just like, okay, this is my shirt and my shorts now. (laughs) But I'm just laughing. I can't help but laugh because it's so funny. And that causes her to go into an insane, violent rage of where she's like hitting me and punching me. And then she's like, just tell me this isn't real. Tell me this is just temporary. And I just want her to leave. So I'm like, yes, this is temporary. I need to think about this. And she goes... Don't just say that to fucking patronize. Don't just say that to make me feel better. Don't say that unless you fucking mean it. And I went, okay, fine. You know what? We're done. We're done forever. I don't want to see you again. This is it. We got our stuff back. There's no reason for us to fucking talk to each other ever fucking again. And she freaks the fuck out. Fucking like tries to hit me a few times. Fucking hops back in her fucking Acura. Peels the fuck out of my driveway. Hits me with rocks again. And then calls me. After she fucking leaves and says, I'm going to drive into a fucking ditch and hit a pole. I just wanted you to hear it while I did it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, you should have just put her on speaker and Don't do that. Don't don't do that. No, please, no. (laughs) Because, again, like, I still have a conscience at this point. Like, I don't want her to fucking die. And I'm just like, no, please, like, don't kill yourself. And, like, my dad is coaching fucking... (laughs) 13 to 15 year olds and fucking pony league baseball right now and i just i just show up at the fucking practice like hey this is happening what do i do father and he's like uh if you think she's serious call the police and so like i eventually she like calms down so then the next time i hear from her is like several attempts where she's trying to convince me that she's fucking pregnant and she, her fucking ugly BFF bestie guy friend is basically stepping in to be like, she didn't do this herself. You know, you need to step up and fucking be a man. And I went, dude, first of all, she's not pregnant. She's lying to get me back. Second, if she is pregnant, I will take care of that child. But that doesn't mean I have to get back with her. But I will absolutely be a father to the child. This is the same girl, uh, you want to know why I didn't believe her? Her April Fool's prank was a fucking pregnancy scare. That's how she fucking gets down. So, yeah, I had a hard time believing her for some crazy reason. I'm having a hard time that any girl would want to, like, try to trap you down. Dude, I was a hot piece of ass. Fucking. Said no one ever. That's that's really bold words. Mm-hmm. I was good looking. Oh yeah, it was had that tan. Uh, what, yeah, what not are you now. now? Yeah, exactly, not now. Right. So how the fuck are you getting cocky? You didn't fucking then. know me in high school. You're getting I cocky knew you now. Right out of high school. Okay. Great. Not impressed. <laughs> not, <laughs> not impressed. Not impressed. <laughs> Thought you were a fucking loser. You were dating the biggest 
T W A T in the fucking world right there. That spells twat for those of you who are still working through your hooked on phonics. Yes, but that doesn't mean I was faithful. I know you weren't. So <laughs> your argument is that you're a piece of shit. We've already established this multiple times. I mean, karma exactly. hit me. Exactly. You're you're now just supporting all of the statements and arguments that I've made thus far. Yeah, that absolutely. You're a massive piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. That doesn't make you attractive. There are ugly pieces of shit. You are a like... prime example. God, I fucking hate you. You know what? Speaking of things that I hate, I feel like it's time to do another shit we hate Another segment, segment baby. Another shit we hate. Shit we hate. We need to come up with a fucking jingle for that. It'd be nice, like I, I want to be able to play a drop every time we do that. Where it's yeah, like shit, we hate. We shit have that we like hate. Uh, shit that we hate. Bah. You know how like other podcasts that are like big, they always have like really talented. <laughs> they have like producers right. and fucking well, no, editors. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, like your mom's house. Yeah, they got yeah. producers and stuff like that. Yeah. But they've got like fans that are really talented that send in stuff. It'd be so cool if, like, one of our fans was, None like, of our, here's a the hidden th- talent. Well, here's the thing. They have, um, you know, a couple hundred thousand fans. Exactly. We have dozens of fans. Right. And we literally have the minimum amount of fans to where I can say dozens. No, we're a little bit over it. I think we're, We like, have 27. Yeah. I'm saying so we, we, have the, we have 27 subscribers. I mean, just growing. <laughs> just growing. We're we, expanding. We did, quite honestly, I'm not sure what to do with our fame. Like I it's know it's, are, it's it's honestly it's yeah. gone to my head when people try to say yeah. hi to me in public. I'm like, who the fuck are you? Right. Like, I don't even know I you. I know constantly. Like, who the fuck do you think take you are picture, trying to approach take me? Take a picture. <laughs> I mean, it's it's bad. No, I won't post for a fucking photo for you, bitch. I'm fucking famous, right? Yeah, we're doing cameo now. Okay, you're not I am. Doing fucking I am. Cameo. No, they're gonna give me money. You. I want. I you just know need what's one person. Hey, I, I need one person. Do you want to know how unfamous I am? Yeah. Guess how many Twitter followers I have. You don't. Is your name even on there yet? Yeah. Oh, you finally changed it. Yeah. For a while, you didn't have it. Yeah. Well, it's because no one cares. No guess. Thirteen. Four. <laughs> oh, <holy laughs> shot that. And one is me. One is the podcast. And then one is my fiance. So it's like, who's that pity fourth? All right. So now. Now that my self-esteem is thoroughly in the toilets, so let's move on to the shit we hate segment. Shit we hate. Mm. All right. Here is a thing um, that happened to me recently and uh, infuriates me. When a restaurant, um, especially a fast food joint that is focused on fast service and like that's your bread and butter, um, waits 10 15, sometimes 20 minutes after you have placed your order to let you know that they have run out of that fucking item. I was at Taco Bell. I fucking ordered a fucking crunch wrap in fucking Austin, Texas. I ordered a fucking crunch wrap Supreme and we are sitting there like where you three of us have fucking ordered. Are you one person has received their food and then the two of us are in order together and we are fucking sitting there waiting and then all of a sudden they call the name out and we're like, finally, we got our food. And one of the people that ordered um, walks up and they're like, we are all out of the tortillas for the Crunchwrap Supreme. And I was like, we have been sitting here forever. It's fine if you run out. That's not the employee's fault. That's the fucking supplier's fault. That's the fucking manager's fault. Like, you need to stay on top of your supplies. That's not your fault. That's fine. It is 100% your fault to wait 20 goddamn fucking cock-sucking fucking minutes to let me know that you are fucking out. What the fuck are you doing for that first fucking 20 minutes? This place is not fucking packed. They are not fucking balls to the wall fucking filling orders that entire time. What the fuck are you doing? Are you smelling your own farts? Are you eating your own feces? And then you finally have a chance to fucking look up and be like, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell him. We're fucking out of that. There is no fucking way that it takes 20 goddamn minutes to figure that out. As soon as that order is placed, you should know if you have that shit or not. Well, here's the thing. You should fucking know. Coming from, because I worked at fast food, 20 minutes is excessive, but this is what happened back there. The order came through. They're like, oh shit, 
we're out. Let's go check. They went to go find it. They didn't find it. They got they got another employee. They didn't find it. They got a manager. The manager even went back there and didn't find it. And then they discussed who's going to break the news to them. But 20 minutes is a little excessive. But I'm just telling you, three people probably look for that fucking tortilla to get you that. So I'm, I'm saying eight minutes it's, is reasonable. It's fine if you don't have it. Yeah. Just fucking let me know in a reasonable time and then to be like what do you want to do like that that's that's your your fucking step up back like oh yeah we don't have it i'd be like what do you mean you don't have it?" like yeah we're out what do you want to do offer me something at the very least be like hey we can remove that from your bill we can replace it with something of equal value Give me anything. Don't just stare at me and be like, uh, so uh, go. Uh, I punch the buttons. Uh, you say the thing. I punch the buttons. Okay. And now I punch the button, but we don't have the thing. And now I don't know what to do. Okay. So first of all, you're making fun of someone that doesn't even make enough money to pay their rent. Okay. So have a little bit more respect when you're talking to them. I've been unemployed but, since fucking December. I know, but you don't pay rent, so... Today is fucking August 20 cents. Cents? What is this, like 50 cents, brother? August? I was really doing a very convincing job of acting sober on this podcast up until... Right now? 20 cents. Okay, so... I like the that's, fact that they came back to you and they're just like... They're like, yeah, we don't have it, so... Your move, big man. It's your move. <laughs> What's your them. next step? Fuck them so much. I fucking hate them. Well, at <laughs> least... so pretty. Like, just let me know. Like, as soon as you get the fucking order, like, you should have a rough idea of when, whether or not you have that shit. Like, you have a fucking stock of fucking items. So once you make the fucking last crunch wrap, you should be like, hey, that's the fucking last one. We don't have any more of those fuckers. So, if somebody orders them, just heads up. Like, we don't have any fucking more. So, that way, it gets to the fucking cashier. And when I say, hey, let me get a uh, crunch wrap Supreme, they're like, actually, sorry, we just ran out of the fucking tortillas uh, for the crunch wrap Supreme. And I'd be like, oh, okay. And then readjust. But to wait 20 fucking minutes after I placed the order and paid for the order... To let me know that you run out of that, there's there's no excuse for that. There's no ex- there's zero fucking excuse. I always just like I never make a big deal about that stuff. That's that's odd because that's something I never that make would a big deal. I never make a big deal about it in the restaurant, but I always just sit there and stare down at the fucking and, table and, like and just stew in it. Yeah, you know you need to quit talking about Taco Bell. Kind of want it now, but all right, so. At least Taco Bell does one thing correctly. What's that? They serve the proper pop. Pepsi. They are a Pepsi company. And are you sit- an anti-Coke guy? A hundred percent. All right. Let I me ask you something. Fu- How do you feel about Mr. Pibb? Mr. Pibb is fine. And I like I it. I love because that's, Mr. Pibb. That's what I get when they have Coke. And I'm like, well, do you have I'll Mr. Pibb? I'll be honest with you. I prefer Mr. Pibb over Dr. Pepper. That's a, that's a debate for another time. Because I think that's crazy. I feel, I think I feel Dr. like Pepper's exactly what we're good, talking about. But Dr. Pepper is a solid fucking pop, all right? It's not even... It's, and for those of you listening in various areas of the United States... It's pop. It is pop. It is pop. P-O-P. If you're, it started off as soda pop, and some people will say soda. Some people say pop. If you're going to shorten a word, you're going to pick the shortest possible version. One syllable, pop. Also, those of you psychos... Down around a certain area of the central south of fucking North America that say Coke for every brand, you can go fuck yourselves. I do not want you as fans. I will tell you that right now. I'm like, hey, can I get you a Coke? And you'd be like, no, actually, I want a fucking Pepsi. They'd be like, oh, yeah, that's a fucking Coke. You want a Pepsi Coke? No. No, not at all. No. Pepsi Cola. Yeah, no, no, no. Coke is a fucking brand. Yes. Coke is a fucking brand. And a shitty one at that. Like, listen, I, I don't care for people to say soda, but soda, people to say soda and people to say pop need to band together against the fucking heathens that say Coke for every fucking brand of fucking soda pop. Fuck you. Yeah. No. But I... 
Anyway, well, you were saying. Well, my what apologies. What pisses me off is when I go to a restaurant and I'm like, I'm looking for their drinks and I, I see that they have Coke products and I'm already annoyed, right? And then I go, and then they come up and oddly enough, sometimes they'll have Dr. Pepper while serving Coke products. It's kind of weird. Like they do that. Like, so I just go like, do you have like Dr. Pepper or Mr. Prib? What, you know, either one. I, I'm done with the meal when they say, oh, sorry, we don't have either of those. If they don't have Mr. Pib or Dr. Pepper and I have to get a Coke, I'm done with the meal. The meal's ruined. I always get sweet tea. Whatever drive, every drive through ever has sweet tea. That's always what I get. Right. Yeah, that's disgusting. So. Why is that disgusting? Sweet tea's you gross. Think, what the fuck did you just fucking say? What, what do you fucking drink? A fucking unsweetened tea? I don't drink tea. Tea's gross. Tea is not fucking gross. Sweet tea yeah. is not fucking gross. It's gross. I will. F- oh my fucking god! I I'm swear just- to fucking god! I swear to fucking god! This I've never been more fucking furious. Well, shit, we hate. I hate tea, and I hate Coke products. I hate you. I hate lemonade. It's a tart Here, water. Here's here's Fuck the next that. topic for shit we hate. Um, Derek Stock. That shit that we fucking hate. Yeah, we I already hate know you. We, we hate each other. I'm just. I need you to get on board with the fact that Pepsi is a superior product. The the drinks that they come out with is better, and all places should sell Pepsi. Fuck this whole Coke thing. You know who likes Coke? Old people. When cocaine was actually in Coke, everyone else with taste buds now likes Pepsi. That's my that's my opinion. Fuck your Coke. opinion is fucking irrelevant after you said you don't like sweet tea. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, all right, it's pretty gross. I'll tell I'll tell you what. Um comment and uh tweet us comment on this fucking youtube page and tweet us at podcast and whether or not you think sweet tea is tasty or not and uh, I- i'll tell you what i'm assuming um, a lot of chicks are going to agree any with you. any fucking person that says um fuck you derek in the comments or in the tweets um, I will give you a shout out on the next podcast and I will invite you as a guest yeah, and I'll, you and I'll I will out. have a solo episode without him being invited and he won't even know about to it. To be completely honest, I wouldn't want to be a part of a podcast like a one that was like promoting sweet tea. So that'd be fine by me. If you're okay. going to promote there, sweet tea, there we go. you can just there have we go. We'll whatever We'll promote it in the beginning and we'll have the single greatest episode that has ever been. We'll fucking we'll find somebody famous to fucking guest star. We will we will you fucking do it famous. up big. Yeah, yeah. Bitch, I'm on cameo. No, you're not. No one will give you money. I need one person. I, if one person gives me money, do you know the how only much person that will give that you up? money is is me, and it will I will pay you to talk shit about yourself hey, and talk about how you know awesome what? I if am. You, if you pay me money. I'll make a cameo or a video, whatever. I'm st- I'm done using their shit because they're not gonna let me on there. I'll make a video and I will talk up sweet tea, but you gotta pay me. I'll give you a fucking penny. That's not. I we didn't. Ne- we never did it, uh, establish a price, but I think five dollars is pretty. No pretty one reasonable. is going to pay just, you. For I this just shit. need one, and and if I did the sweet tea thing, you wouldn't count. I just need one, and I will blow that shit up in your face. Be like, dude, I. I'm starting to piss this. Stop treating me like I'm a woman in a fucking bukkake film, all right? You're not blowing shit up in my face. Oh. Tone that I shit down. I was wondering where that was going. It, it yeah. came around at the end. It came around yeah, at the end. That. Yeah. yeah again, again, it's still talking about porn. I know. We're, yeah. we're, we talk about porn, sex, and yeah. diarrhea on this right. fucking podcast. That's, oh my God. Oh my God. We didn't talk about no. any shit. It, it, we can you sharted the other day. I did shart the other day. Oh my god, I forgot about this. <laughs> yes, I fucking sharted the other day. Like, uh, I just farted normal several fucking hours later. I go, I was like, eh, okay, it's time to poop. And I pull my fucking shorts and underwear down. And there is a massive wet shit streak in the middle of my fucking underwear. And I'm just staring at How it. How do like, you not know that you're sitting in like a... like? Dude, I don't know. Bit. I've never had this happen before where it happened uh. and I didn't know. Every other time that it has happened, I have recognized it immediately. But this time, for whatever reason, I just... I didn't feel it. I didn't notice it. And I fucking pull them down and I'm just staring at this fucking shit streak in the middle of my fucking underwear. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? 
And I texted you. Yeah. I was like, dude. We got to talk about this. I was like, dude, I just fucking shit myself. We hit the quota. Unknowingly. Yeah. And, and I already fucking talked about it in a previous episode. The last time I fucking shit my fucking self as an adult was in bed while I was asleep. Very fucking sick. But, oh God, just, that just fucking crushed my start. fucking soul. That's awesome. I would I really, so really, really love to go like a solid two to three years without shitting myself. That's gotta be I feel aim. like that's not too much to ask. But no. Within the last, what, three weeks, I've shit myself. So. Amazing. Reset. So within the month of fucking August, I have shit myself. And now I gotta fucking. I would really, really fucking love to go a couple years without shitting myself, but it's never going to happen. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in yet again to another shitty fucking episode of The Den of Debauchery, a.k.a. The Den of Debauchery, a.k.a. The Shit Talking Shit Face Podcast, unless you're Derek Stock, who gives up on drinking... I gotta grow up. It's a work night. Work night. Fuck you. Why don't you be unemployed like the rest of us? Anyway, thank you guys for listening. Again, please like this one. Comment on this one. Subscribe to the fucking channel. Email. Comment. Do all that stuff. Get a hold of us. Follow us us on fucking Twitter. At Podcast N. Because Derek Sock created the podcast fucking name for Twitter and doesn't understand marketing and keeping the name consistent. Uh, hey, I wanted to make sure that they knew. I wanted to make sure that they knew that it's different Twitter and hard it. to fucking follow. That's what Twitter gave me, and I just didn't change it. Yeah. I think you can. You can change your handle. Yes, can't you? yes, you have. I've so changed co- it multiple so times. So stop complaining. So fucking fix it. You no. did this. You did this to us. No, you, no, you can always change it. You've got the rights to it. You just have it. You're lazy. I'm lazy. Yep. I'm fucking lazy. Thank you. Keep saying it. Maybe one day you'll get past it. I'm fucking... You know what? (laughs) Fuck you. I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of you right fucking now. Fuck you. (laughs) Fuck you. God damn it. Fuck. Shut the fuck up!